What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video guys, we're going to be looking at the attacking method called Bow Witch at Town Hall 10. And I, I don't think I've ever made a Bow Witch video guys, so I'm kind of excited about this. So we're going to get started here with Senta Damai. And I really like what he's doing here, he's got a bowler walk going on. He's got his witches and bowlers working the side funnels. Kind of very similar to a witch slap. Uh, the healers have jumped off. Well, they were on the golem, but it is split. And so they're back to uh, the, the bowlers and witches. So that's that's what he wanted. Great entry here, guys. Look at that funnel. Worked out so well for Senta. He is in the core of the base. However, there's no bowlers in the core. So... Unfortunately, the bowlers kind of faded out with that double set right there. King's ability uh, has been used. Queen is backing him up, but he is going to go down. And now it's down to the queen and the side funnel, witches and bowlers. But as you can see up top, the bowlers are down. It's just one or two witches up here. It just looks like one. Uh, but the splash of that wizard tower was just too much. And that witch is down. Now there's a few down here at the bottom. And the queen has used her ability. And it's going to be rip the dream for this base. Because that 40 queen does beautiful work. Uh, so here we go. We're just going to speed it up guys. Because this one is a wrap. Great job, Senta. Excellent attack. And we're going to take a look at JC's attack on number six. And there you go, guys. A standard Bow Witch comp. It's a shattered entry. You got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And right now he's making, uh, he's starting to make the funnel with the witches in the corners. And this attack runs uh, very similar to the Gobo Wee Wee at Town Hall 9. But this is Town Hall 10, and there's a lot more complica complications to this attack. You have to excuse me too, guys. I'm a little bit, a little bit under the weather, and uh, <laughs> you could probably tell my voice. So right here, as you can see, JC has funneled very nicely, and he is in the core of the space, and the bowlers are doing great work with his royals. But the bowlers are starting to fade out a little bit, guys. So it's going to be up to the witches and the royals to get the rest of this base. There's not a lot left, but that inferno does pose a pretty nasty threat. And let's see if he's going to have to phase the queen. <clears throat> and he does not at this time. And he's starting to bring in some cleanup, but... The Archer Towers ain't having it right now, and he is going to phase this queen any minute now. Oh, he's going to have to right there. Yep, there she goes, and she is in trouble, guys. There's two cannons on her, and she is not going to make it long. Oh, just in the nick of time, those witches start taking fire from the Archer Tower, and that was perfect. The queen will survive this attack. Great three-star JC, excellent attack. All right, we'll scroll down to number 11, and we'll take a look at this one, and let me catch that name, Dung Sport. And as you can see, he's got a shattered uh, Bow Witch attack. Coming in just like uh, the first attack, as you've seen, making that funnel. And I actually like this funnel a little bit better than the first one because his, bowl, his bowlers, uh, he's not going to have very many of them stray outside of the funnel. Oh, I said that and a whole line of them just walked out. Wow. Come on, guys. But look at there, guys. The push into the base is going quite successfully right now. But this base does have lower defenses uh, than the first ones you've seen. And 
it is pretty devastating right now guys this base is definitely not gonna hold up the outcome is not even a question at this time it is a definite once that queen gets down and has her ability she is gonna ring down fire on whatever's left with her ability and I'm gonna speed it up guys because it's a wrap he just swags her ability he didn't even need it great job dunk sport and guys for my last bow witch attack right here we're gonna take a look at De Del Delinator Delinator uh, okay and as you can see guys this is definitely the lower end of the spectrum this is a newer Town Hall 10 he does have all defenses but a lot of them are Town Hall 9 the level 1 Infernos uh, definitely do not scare Delinator he has max royal so this one is as long as his funnel is good Delinator should have no problems at all with the bow which attack and this attack guys uh, is pretty pretty devastating and it is a great uh, fresh hit attacking method you're definitely going to get a two star but the chances are you're going to three star and right here Delinator has left this town hall at the end so he is banking that he's going to get a three he's not is this is going for broke guys this is not um you know uh this is not coming in from the other side and and knowing you're going to get a two star this is all or nothing that's what this is so if delinator does not three star this base he won't even two star this base that's what that's what i'm saying so right here as you can see now uh, his attack is in trouble so he's gonna have to uh, be very patient in how he plays the hero's ability uh, and I was gonna say that last archer but he went ahead and set her out now if that queen could go out there with that golemite uh, she could put in some work right quick get through the Tesla <clears throat> but the Golemite is down we still got our ability here guys he just needs to get through these wizard towers but they are Town Hall 9 and she is a level 40 queen guys but that big bomb definitely uh, did some work right there so he has phased her and I'm going to speed it up because it's a wrap. Great job, Delinator. And guys, these attacks uh, definitely let you know that Bow Witch is a viable option at Town Hall 10. Now, there's a lot of options out there right now at Town Hall 10. And it is hard to put your finger on one that you feel comfortable with. But there is a bunch of them, guys. Town Hall 10 right now is really just like Town Hall 9. I think Town Hall 9 has just a wee bit more diversity. However, that's not to say that that won't happen with Town Hall 10 pretty soon. Uh, right now, it's just left up to the creativity and comfort zones of the attackers that are making up these attacks and using these attacks, guys. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Maybe... Uh, in your next war, you'll see a base that you feel comfortable with trying this attack. And with that being said, guys, I am out of here. Alright guys, and this next attack is pretty cool because I hadn't seen it in a while. Uh, some of the clans that I was covering a long time ago before uh, the balloon buff and nerf were using this attack and it is a Valalo or a sacrificial royal redhead Laloon and that's the long version but here we go uh, of course it well it was a little bit shorter than that but uh, that it's a little insensitive so I don't use it uh, the old term but here we go as you can see basically he's going to use those Valks to get down uh, some of these ADs and sacrifice his royals to that endeavor. <laughs> Queen's already in trouble. And basically he's just trying to get 2 AD down here. 
and whatever else he gets is is value and here comes the king As you can see he's made a nice funnel there's nothing left but breadcrumbs going into the ad's look at these valks moving in he's definitely going to get down to ad and let's see if he can get three probably not and here comes the laloon but he has tightened up the base a little bit here and I like that it just makes the the balloon pathing a lot tighter and a lot easier for these balloons to take down these defenses they stay really grouped up and that is a good thing Now he's got a haste and a heal. And he's moving in. He's just dropped his last balloons. And there you go. He got a great split there. Not well, not great, but somewhat okay. But just like that, guys, it's over. This base is a wrap. Great job, Cal. I love seeing this man. Uh, the last time I seen this attack, it was in Trollstein. Great job.